Have you heard of the Wildlife Center? Your newsroom's Ashley Watts took a trip to the seven-year-old sanctuary and filed this wild report. Opened in 1997, the Center for Wildlife Education was developed with a specific goal in mind, acquire an eagle for Georgia Southern. University alumni and master falconer Steve Hine was contacted to begin the search after the misidentification of a large bird during a national championship game. Uh, in a 19, 19, 1990 football game, a uh, playoff game, an uh, eagle flew over the stadium and the announcer said it was our mascot, of course an eagle, and it turned out to be a turkey vulture. Since 1990, the mission of the Wildlife Center has evolved greatly from simply finding an eagle. Today, the center focuses on keeping humans involved with the natural world. The Mission Wild Center is really to sort of connect uh, humans and people to nature uh, and really to use that, uh, sort of create that relationship, that uh, the connection we allow people to touch them, hold animals. After seven years open, with the permission of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, in 2004 the center was finally able to acquire our own bald eagle, Freedom. When we try to fly at football games and graduations, he's become somewhat iconic and understandably so. It's not only Georgia Southern's mascot, a living mascot, but it's our national symbol. Over the years, the center has acquired animals in a number of different ways. Some are bred in captivity for educational purposes. Others have been given to the center by the Department of Natural Resources, but most of the raptors have one thing in common. The vast majority of the birds are uh, raptors, I should say specifically, are, are uh, raptors that are injured in some way. They cannot survive in the wild, including freedom. Freedom, people have no idea why he's flight capable, he has an injury to his beak. Though the center is arguably most well known for their work with freedom, there are countless other amazing animals that call Georgia Southern home. The center has over 17 acres of animal habitats, including a 14-foot python, a waterfowl pond with over 100 ducks, countless native reptiles, and more. Bringing people together with nature, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of different backstories, but a lot of people still have the same goal as to uh, saving nature and conserving nature, and we think uh, if we can get everybody, you know, together, that we can, uh, we can achieve that goal. So Ashley, when can the campus community come visit the center and how much does it cost? The Wildlife Center is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. with daily programs at 3.30 and is soon to reopen on Saturdays. Admission is free for students with their Eagle IDs. That's great, Ashley. Thanks for that report. And thank you for joining us this week. We encourage you to connect with us on social media at your underscore newsroom. For now, for Isabella and for all of us at your newsroom, I'm Andy Cole. We'll see you next week so long.